So it's an honor. We have City Councilman Andres Addison here with us. Welcome to the program, sir. Mike, great to be here. Glad that you, invite, you invited me here. So you're here with, with mobile hacks on. Mm -hmm. you're, you're here with, and we're going to talk about the political side, but we're here, you're, you're an entrepreneur in, in the city. This is a business show. Tell us about who you are and what you do, and then we'll dive into the different aspects. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, being elected official in Richmond on City Council, it's a part-time elected job. And so we always have to have outside income to support ourselves and our families um, and our livelihood. So with that, one of the things we've always had to do is either balance a bunch of different tasks, um, other work, either be an independent consultant or other aspects of that capacity. And I lucked into an opportunity during the pandemic. A friend of mine's gym shut down um, and through the support of other members of that friend circle as well as that gym uh, we created a new chapter for that and i was put in charge of creating what now has become pure fitness rva uh, the newest gym in scott's edition we are what i would like to say is the best workout in scott's edition uh, mostly because it's working around the professional lifestyle and for me that's been a, a really good piece because that's what i have been and i think a lot of people now getting back into the post-pandemic world want to see and so i've been lucky to find this pathway of connecting both my political uh, schedule with a part-time job of creating this new gym being a, a political person and elected official what was it like starting a business? Was it like you, you thought it would be? Or was it, how different was it from the actual, before you're setting policy and doing all those things. Now you're the guy on the ground saying, okay, I need to make this happen. You know, I think, is it um, what, what some boxing great? I don't know if it was Floyd or Mayweather or Mike Tyson, uh, probably Mike Tyson. Uh, the best plan of preparation is great until you get hit in the face. Yeah, all the plans go out. When you get punched in the That's face, it. everything it's is over. So uh, so you had the idea yeah. and exactly how it was going to be as an elected official with the suit on, okay? And all <laughs> of a sudden now, Andre shows up as a business owner. Very different. <laughs> Incredibly different. And I'm not saying this in, in like just of anybody who's I interacted with, but I learned firsthand exactly the frustration a lot of business owners have conveyed over many years to city council, um, and seeing the process of just creating a business, getting a building permit, uh, navigating the walls of City Hall. And I, the, the I halls that, that you walked through. The halls that I used to work in. <laughs> and now I'm part of the, the elected body to help support its improvement um, in policy and budget. And now I'm in there seeing how it works and just, it was frustrating. And I, I just saw firsthand some of the you know concerns we had. And the people I worked with also gave me some insight on, so it's not this way all the time. And if you go to Henrico or you go to Chesterfield, there's a different process in opening a business. They, and it's just, I feel like a, a need of addressing and improving. But I made sure that when I went through this process, I didn't wear my city council hat. I was just Andreas Addison, business owner. Here's my application. Here's my, here's my building permit. The same as anybody else would. I never gave anybody a heads up. And for months, I navigated through that bureaucracy frustratingly. And it, it ended up delaying my business opening and some other aspects, which is what's been common across many entrepreneurs in our city. One of my, my, my King Addison is Andre Addison is here with us.